Simple science. What are the X and Y chromosomes? The X and Y chromosomes are known as the sex chromosomes because they determine whether you are a male or a female. Human diploid cells contain 23 pairs of chromosomes, or 46 chromosomes in total. 44 of these chromosomes are known as autosomes that can be placed into 22 matching or near-identical homologous pairs. In addition, there is one pair of sex chromosomes. In females, the sex chromosomes are made up of a matching homologous pair of X chromosomes. In males, there is a non-matching pair consisting of one X chromosome and a Y chromosome that is quite different. The Y chromosome is much smaller than the X chromosome and contains far less genetic information. However, it contains a gene that is not present in the X chromosome that triggers the development of embryonic gonads into testes rather than ovaries. In females, the process of meiosis results in the production of an egg containing a single or haploid set of chromosomes, including a single X chromosome. In males, however, half the sperm produced during meiosis contain an X chromosome, while the other half contain a Y chromosome. In the process of fertilization, a haploid gamete cell from the male fuses with a haploid gamete cell from the female to form a diploid cell that goes on to develop into a new individual. In the case of humans, a sperm from the male fertilizes an egg in the female, resulting in a zygote that develops into a human embryo. Whether that embryo is a male or a female depends on the type of sperm that fertilizes the egg. If the sperm contains a Y chromosome, the sperm and egg fuse to form a zygote that contains an X and a Y chromosome. The Y chromosome then triggers the gonads of the embryo to form testes, resulting in a child that is a boy. However, if the sperm that fertilizes the egg contains an X chromosome, the resulting zygote has a pair of X chromosomes, and by default the gonads of the embryo develop into ovaries, resulting in a child that is a girl.